video, we're actually going to tie together what we just did in the why, how, what video for all the video series series that we went through. Uh, so what we want to do is I just created one right here, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and recreate that for you. I was hoping it would populate by now. So we're going to go to custom audience. And if you're not sure how to get here, all you have to do is go to top left, click that, all tools, and then you got audiences right there. Okay. So we're going to do custom audience. I'm going to come down here to engagement. Uh, now, if you're doing a blog, you'd want to do website traffic. Check out the other video for that one. But this is going to be engagement. So we want to go to video. And let's go ahead and say we want... So these are a little bit shorter. Um, they're about a minute videos. So let's go ahead and say it's 75%. Then we want to choose the videos. Um, let's go through. This isn't the account that I was looking for, but it still works. So let's just say we choose that. And again, you have your page up here, so you can check that. Hit confirm. You can put whatever day range you want. You can add as many videos to this one as you want as well. You can also add more. So say you had a really long video and you wanted, you know, say 10 seconds or 25. Um, maybe you'd go through that. Oh, they took off 100%. That's weird. Okay. Uh, but either way, you can do, you know, some of those other ones there with different videos. So you have some short videos up here. You have some long videos down here, 10 seconds, 25%, more like the 25%. Uh, number of days, and then let's go ahead and name this guy. So let's go ahead and what is it, 75%? 75%. 365 video views. And then I usually put like when it was created on there. I'm going to leave that one off right now. So we'll create the audience. Okay, perfect. So uh, I'm not going to do a look like on that one right now, um, because if I want to, I could also take the Y's and create a look alike. So maybe we'll take this guy right here, go into look alike audience, create maybe a 1% right there, choose our source, choose that, choose the source. Okay, well, it hasn't populated yet, so it's not going to be there. Location, of course, United States, Oops, countries. North America, boom. Okay, pick your source, create your lookalike audience, and then you can also remarket to people that have viewed that certain percentage of the video to get more and more people that are viewing that certain percentage because that's your main goal on the why is to get as many people as possible to watch that. Same with your how, but your why is more like your top of the funnel. You're really bringing people in there, then you're retargeting with the how, then go into the what. So we're going to do that same exact process for the what videos. So the what videos that we have on there, we're also going to select those, select a, a certain time range um, on there. It was 365 days I left it at. You can do it shorter. You can't do it any longer than 365 days. But the reason we want that is then for our what, uh, our what videos, we're then going to take that new audience we just created and then go ahead and use that to market against it. Okay. So let's take this one. Say the 50% is our why. That one's going to go to our how. And then say right here, our 75% is our what or our how. We want that to go to our what videos. And then the what, again, is going to be pitching somebody. If you want to go further than that, you're trying to remarket them even further. Uh, maybe you're trying to take different actions, get them to purchase other products that you have. You already have your audience there, so why do your why and the how again if you can just take that audience and kind of remarket other items when you know that's already a pretty condensed audience that... Um, Hopefully you're building it as big as possible and you're making money off of that and profitable. And that's the whole point of this whole course and everything that you're doing online as a business um, or in person. But you just want people to keep coming in your why and then just go through the how and then to the what. Okay, so that's what we're going to do and set up those really easy on that part. So we come in here, create. And actually what's kind of cool is this one right here, we've only spent uh, $238 on, but this one we've actually already gotten... Uh, I think it's seven or eight high ticket. So we're somewhere, we've completely changed the name on that one. Uh, we've gone from a name. We've completely changed the game on that one. So we did, uh, what was it? Actually, they weren't high ticket. They were only 4.99. So 4.99 times, I think it was like seven on that one. Plus, uh, there's a recurring membership of 100 bucks a month on a lot of those. So let's just say there's another 700 a month. Average rate of stay is six months. All right. Yeah, there's uh, quite a bit of money in there um, that was made off that $238. So I'm pretty happy with that campaign. That was for an actual facility, a gym. Um, it was not for an e-commerce store or anything like that on that exact campaign. But we're going to go ahead and go through here and maybe we'll do our brand awareness or our reach. Brand awareness is more of brand recall. So we're probably not going to go for that one right this second. We're going to start with the reach. 
You can do A-B testing. You can do a lot of different stuff in here. Okay, so now that we are here on this page, what we do is right here for custom audience, we just take that one. It should be populated. Actually, I don't think it's populated yet, but that's okay. We'll just take this one. So actually we said the 50% is from the why to the how. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then once we do, we set up a full another campaign, we'll do our 75%, which is going to be from our how to our what. Okay. So that's how you plug those ones in there. Um, I usually don't narrow them down too much as you start getting down in there. The why you're going to want to target more. You're going to want to throw in some interests, some demographics on there. You're going to want to switch it either men or women, depending on. Uh, then you're going to want to take that and duplicate it over for man or woman, uh, whichever one you didn't do the first time. So if you targeted men the first time and you're building an ad specifically towards men, then do another one. Copy this exact campaign towards women. Change your copy around a little bit. Uh, video may or may not be changed depending on where you're, you know, kind of marketing that one. I don't see a huge reason for it unless you're really trying to get detailed and a little bit more complicated on there. But uh, if you don't have to create new videos for men and women, just change your copy around a little bit, pull out what your audience is, and you'll be good to go on the copy itself. Because that's what's really going to mainly catch their attention is the first couple lines, and then they're going to watch your video. So you just come down, throw whatever. One thing you can do is, you know, people connected to your pages. If you have a large page right now, that's actually a good idea to do. It really helps. And it says, hey, anybody interested in the page, you've probably seen them come through your feed where it's like, so-and-so is also interested in this. And those are your friends. That's exactly what you're trying to do with that. Okay, so we go down, set your budget, whatever. But this is why I do a reach campaign over a brand because a brand recall is just a... It's going to inventory or um, give a form or so to some of your customers so they can see if they even remember seeing your ad. And it'll give a multiple choice of, you know, do, were you showed a, shown a Ford ad and a Dodge ad or this or whatever, you know. And then you just click which one you've seen recently, and that's how it judges that. This one, you can actually select your frequency. So right here, you can choose impressions or reach. I usually just go with reach, but you can actually change your frequency. So right here is going to be the number of impressions in the number of days. So that person's only going to see this one time every seven days. Okay. That's pretty important because we don't want to overrun them with these ads, the same exact video all the time. Uh, we may want to go ahead and even remarket some of our why videos based on other why videos and say, okay, this person watched 25%. It's not quite enough to bring them to the how but we want to go ahead and say, send them that every, you know, three or four days because it's a, it's a more in-depth video and they've already watched enough of the first video on the why to then warrant the other video getting shown to them as well. We just want to keep showing them videos after videos after videos, not the same video. That's very important. That's why we've created so many of our actual one minute videos, you know, two, three, four, five minute videos, that kind of stuff in the beginning. So that's basically how you set it here. Everything else is going to be exactly the same when you go through the actual ad itself. Um, and that's pretty much it. So if you guys have questions, put them down below. I would love to answer them for you. Uh, I hope this explains everything. Very easy. Just put your audience in here that we just created. That's going to go ahead and target those individuals based on the people that have watched that video. You show them another video, then they watch a certain percentage more, and then you bring them to the what and you try and sell them.